before signing up for a credit card, you should be aware of these things that credit card companies do not want you to know. Today, I'll share with you five tips about credit cards that you won't learn from credit card companies. If you follow these tips in handling your finances, you'll be well on your way to living a financially fit life. Welcome back everyone to Financially Fit with Katie. I'm Katie McDonald, certified financial planner and owner of McDonald Wealth Management. I'm dedicated to being your anchor for a financially fit life. Please do not forget to subscribe. That way you will be notified when new content will be uploaded. Now let's jump into today's topic on the things credit card companies do not want consumers to know. Sometimes when it comes to credit card companies, if you don't ask, they simply will not tell you. At the end of the day, credit card companies are like any other business, meaning they need a profit to survive. The Bureau of Consumer Financial Protection estimates that nearly 170 million Americans have credit cards. That's a lot of us. So it's time to be smarter consumers by learning these five top secret credit card companies could be keeping from you. So first tip, paying early cuts your balance faster. Most credit card companies charge interest on the average daily balance. So if you can't pay all of your balance at once, pay some of it early. For example, if you have a $2,000 balance, but immediately pay $500 at the beginning of the month, the interest will only be charged on the remaining 1500. This may seem insignificant, but it all adds up in the long run. Two, you can ask for some penalties and fees to be waived. If you find yourself with a late fee, don't hesitate to call the credit card company and ask for the fee to be waived. Going into it, you might think there's nothing that can be done and you'll have to pay, but credit card company issuers, sometimes they can be generous, especially if you have a great payment record and are in good standing. You can usually request that your fee be waived once or twice a year if you're lucky. Number three, credit card companies need you more than you need them. Similar to the point above, if you ever want a lower annual fee or lower, um, um, lower interest rate, all you have to do is call your credit card company and ask for it. They make money from your spending and believe it or not, that gives you some power over them. If you call your card issuer and say, I'm thinking about switching over to another company because they are offering you a lower interest rate and you have a good credit score and are up to date on your payments, chances are, they will be ready to negotiate and give you an attractive offer. Next, your APR will dramatically increase if you're not a smart card user. If you have credit cards with a reasonable annual percentage, don't take it for granted. Any mistake on your part, whether it's a late payment or spending over your limit, this can significantly increase your APR. The good news is, is not every card comes with that particular penalty. Therefore, when applying for cards, make sure to read the application closely to see if that applies to you. And lastly, number five, card companies can see your credit history. Credit card companies can actually look at your credit profile and they can raise interest rates if they notice some bad behavior. If you miss something related to another credit card or even a loan, you might end up paying more on your credit card balance too. The next time you're late on a mortgage payment, check to see if your interest rate has actually changed on your credit card. Now that you're aware of some of the top things that credit card companies don't want you to know about, you can make better financial decisions for yourself. Remember, always read the fine print in your card applications so that you don't let anything ever slip by. As the consumer, you have more, po you have more power and knowledge than you think, so you definitely want to use that to your advantage in order to save money for yourself. I hope that you found this video helpful. I hope that one or all of the tips you can put to good use in your life 
so that you can get yourself ahead and start to feel financially confident. If there's any questions or anything that I can do for you, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. My contact information is listed in the description box. Until next time, everyone, stay safe, be well. Bye.